the cabinet is expected to discuss a bill that seeks to regulate religious institutions. Ethics and Integrity State Minister Father Simon Lokobo says the bill is aimed at preventing what he calls the mushrooming of churches across the country. Kenya has also been planning to regulate the institutions to get rid of rogue pastors. Then we shall go to cabinet. After the cabinet, cabinet approving that policy will direct the directorate to consult with the first parliamentary council and come up with a bill. Ethics and Integrity State Minister Father Simon Lokodo wants legislation that will set stringent measures to follow in establishing places of worship, especially born again churches. We shall also subject um, them to scrutiny. Not anybody can jump up overnight and say, oh, I am a pastor, oh, I am a bishop, and so on. We are going to put into deeper investigation if one is a genuine church founder or not. The move, according to the minister, is informed by the numerous churches mushrooming across the country without clear standards and guidelines. Bail, if successful, will subject the churches to state regulation and will make it more bureaucratic to open up a church Unlike the existing laser fair status quo that allows anyone to establish a church on any day, under any condition. We must ensure that they are performing their specific mandates, but in the interest of the harmonious existence or coexistence of these religious groups in this country. The presiding apostle of the born again faith, Dr. Joseph Serrada, says they will be watching the development keenly. I can't make comment. I would like to read the bill and uh, make sense of what it really says, really dig into the spirit of that bill, and then be able to make a comment that would uh, possibly be the direction of where our churches will go. As leader of the Born Again churches right now, Dr. Serrada, however, warns that the state has already registered a number of cults masquerading as born again churches, trend he warns could lead to disastrous consequences. The government wants to control cults, that would be up to them. But if they don't ask us who the cults are, how would the government know? They never knew when they were registered in Kibwetere, they have over 50 cults right now registered in this country. And they don't even know where the future is. As a step towards establishing the regulatory framework, the president has appointed Reverend Canon Aaron Mwesije as head of the Directorate of Ethics in charge of faith-based organizations, although the Born Again movement wants more than just that. In response to the demand of the faith-based organizations, has decided to put in place a distinct department in ethics and integrity to handle issues related with religious affairs. Our desire and our request has always been that instead of simply a small department, that we have a whole substantive minister and all the other faiths in the country are going to be housed under that same umbrella. The Ugandan constitution grants rights to freedom of worship and association, a matter likely to emerge as a challenge to the proposed bill. Sabit Joseph and Bias Sunset.